Good morning YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning in to yet another video. It is another full day of eating. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Easter weekend. It's Easter Sunday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. And I am officially just under eight weeks out. So we got breakfast cooking up over here. And as you guys have most probably seen from the thumbnail, it is another full day of eating because my diet has changed drastically. So we're going to show you guys what's popping. Um, and we're gonna do this one vlogger style. Don't worry, Sean will still be on the edits, so it won't be my shitty edits, don't stress. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a full day of eating, and I'm also gonna do a little bit of a QA. Why am I so zoomed in? This is so weird. Something's up with my camera, guys. Sorry that you have to look into my nose hairs, but yeah, <laughs> that's gonna have to be have to be working for now. So um, yeah, I'm also gonna do a little bit of a and a with you guys. So I'm gonna go through my current training split for prep. And the one question that I'm really excited about is how to not get hungry when you are in a dieting phase. So I think a lot of people str struggles with that and I'm gonna address that later on in this video. I'm also gonna be going through my mental preparation. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys another six meals six meals in the day of the life so if you guys want to know how to make low calorie food taste really good then stick around for the video right now is breakfast so we got the oats on the stove and then we're gonna add some cocoa A scoop of whey and frozen blueberries and that's how we're gonna assemble meal number uno okay so you guys have it for the final product Ugh. chocolate freaking oats mate focus so Sean is probably gonna kill me <laughs> for my shitty uh, Camera set up, so I'm really sorry, bait. Um, yeah, all the shitty angles, guys. It's all me, it's not Sean, so just bear that in mind. The macros for this meal, I should mention, is it's 70 grams of oats, 5 grams of cocoa, 1 scoop whey protein, and like 112 grams of blueberries. And it is 35 grams of protein, 56 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fat. 455 calories. It's 9 a.m. I usually eat breakfast way earlier because I do fasted cardio, but you know, it's Sunday and cardio will be done this afternoon. I'm gonna go train now at 10. So, yeah, that's my life story for you guys. <clears throat> Damn, if any of you were interested. Yeah, let me eat. Um, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm, I haven't had meal number two yet. So meal number two is cream of rice. Um, I've got 90 grams of cream of rice in here and I'm going to add a bit of salt. And then after I had this meal, I'll have a, a chat with you guys about how to not get hungry in a fat loss stage. So, whoa. The main thing that you need to make cream of rice is a whisk you don't want it to be lumpy so you really want to mix it in very nicely so after i add the cream of rice to a bowl i'll add a little bit of water not a lot just like that and then you whisk it until you get a smooth consistency whisk 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 okay so then it looks something like this so there's no lumps no nothing and then after you did that, 
you add more water the water is going to give you the nice volume that we're looking for and then we just make sure everything is blended in nicely so over here it's basically just salt, cream of rice and water right let me put it in the microwave so you put it in for like a minute interval so we'll put it in for a minute, take it out, stir it and then we do that like two or three times, normally three times that's the consistency that I like, some people like it more watery so then you just don't put it in for so long and then we add the protein and the cinnamon goes on top and then we're gonna have some blueberries with that as well so yeah and that's how you guys make the perfect cream of rice I'll show you guys the final product okay so after three minutes in the microwave it's literally looking like that and you can basically tilt over the bowl like so thank you so now we add the protein and this is where the flavor comes in because it's going to be good and now you just need to whisk it like crazy because it's pretty tough okay so that is kind of the consistency that I like it's a very thick porridge type situation then the cinnamon goes on top you want to nice like that and then the final touches these blueberries again this time we're going 75 grams And that is the end product. So we'll be putting up the macros on the screen for meal number two over here. And then um, I'll have a chat to you guys after I ate this meal. So if you are dieting, you're obviously eating less foods because you're in a calorie deficit. So your food intake is less and that ends up in you being hungry. You know what I mean? So. Of the obvious first tip that I can give you is that you want to try and keep your stomach as full as possible and fill yourself up without adding those extra calories. So you're looking for low calorie, high volume foods that you can eat that will keep you full and satiate, satiate, satiated, satiated, whatever, you know what I mean, um, throughout the day, right? So whole foods is your best option so you want to go for fruits like watermelon watermelon you can chow there's very little calories in that you want to make yourself big big salads and then you obviously want to stay away from things that are high calorie like fats for example fats are extremely high in calories so you want to stay away from that so the first tip that i can give you is eat low calorie high volume foods like your fruits and your vegetables, right? Okay, so the second thing that you guys can do, and this helps me a lot, is drinking coffee. Drinking coffee, drinking Coke Zero, or things like that, and definitely sparkling water. Um, sparkling water really fills me up for some other reason. I don't know if it's the gas in there, but if I have like a whole bottle of sparkling water, then I feel pretty satiated, satiated. And um, yeah, so the same goes with a, with a Coke Zero. It really just helps for the cravings. And then the coffee is a definite, definite appetite suppressor. So, and it also increases your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So when you're not doing anything and you drink coffee, you'll actually just be burning more calories just because you had coffee, because it makes you do and move around a bit more than what you usually would if you didn't have coffee, right? So obviously you don't wanna add a bunch of calories to your coffee, so don't add full cream milk and three sugars or whatever, you know what I mean? Have your sweetener with your coffee and maybe almond milk or a lower calorie milk is a good alternative for full cream milk because that's also high in calories and yeah you don't want to be adding more calories right then the last thing that i've noticed with myself is um if you are staying busy 
then it's way easier to not think about being hungry. You know what I mean? So, for example, on rest days when I'm not doing anything or I'm just chilling at home and I have to eat my diet food and obviously I only can eat a certain amount of calories, then I find myself being extremely hungry the whole time. And it's actually not me being hungry. It's just me wanting to eat from boredom. So stay active, stay busy, be productive, do, do something in between your meals. And then last but not least, definitely go to bed earlier. I don't know about you, but if I cheat on my diet, it's definitely at night. I get the cravings at night, not through the day. The likelihood of me cheating on my diet through the day is very, very minimal. But if I'm still awake at 1 p.m., 1 p.m., 1 a.m., 12 p.m., then um, the likelihood of me cheating on my diet is way higher so don't think that you're going to stay up later to burn more calories during you know to burn more calories um just because you're you're moving and you're awake and so on rather go to bed earlier and wake up and have breakfast again so yeah those are basically my tips for for not getting too hungry on a on a restrictive calorie diet what you will see for the rest of my full day of eating is literally high volume low calorie foods I'll check you guys at meal number three. The definition of high volume, low calorie foods. So yeah, I have almost one kilogram worth of salad and this whole meal is not even 500 calories. So we'll display all the amounts, macros and all that stuff on the screen. And yeah, that's what I mean by having low calorie, high volume foods. All right, so now I quickly wanna take you guys through my training split for this whole prep. So as you guys know, Aria Sapphire is my coach and um, he does these nine day training splits. So it's four days on, one day off, four days on, one day off. And he kind of designed this one for me. Um, and it goes all something like this. So the first thing to note is that I'm doing pull-ups every day, four sets of pull-ups pull -ups, to really try and bring up my back. And then day one is chest and shoulders. So we're focusing on uh, upper chest for this one. So we're doing a lot of incline movements. That's a lot of volume for chest on this day. And then we're just finishing off with shoulders, right? So day two comes along and we're doing back and rear delts. This is a width focused back day, so there's a lot of pull downs. Then day three is legs and biceps, so that's kind of bittersweet. You guys will notice with my leg workouts, it's a lot of compound movements. So we're focusing on the squat, Romanian deadlift, and stuff like lunges. There's not a lot of um, isolated work isolated exercises in my leg workouts and that's just because we don't really have to focus on the detail of my legs it's going to be covered in board shorts so we really just want to grow them as much as possible and get them as big as possible so day three is legs and biceps then day four comes along and then we're focusing on shoulders so a lot of shoulder exercises and then we finish off with triceps so shoulders and triceps day five is rest day right okay so then day six comes along and we're doing chest and calves. Now we're focusing more on the overall chest. So it's not so much incline movement. It's more flat. And then a low incline dumbbell fly is also in there. And then calves because I need to grow my calves. So over these nine days, I'm doing calves three times a week. Uh, doing calves with legs and then on this day with chest. Day seven is a back day again with back and biceps. So here we are focusing on back thickness. So we're doing bent over rows, dumbbell rows, seated cable, close grip rows, high row, and then rear delts, and then biceps. So it's a lot of volume for back thickness, right? Day nine is shoulders and triceps. This is kind of just to get really, just to really get blood into the shoulders. It's not a crazy day. We're not doing any presses. Um, it's just, raises so it's standing lateral raise and cable front delt raise and then we're doing an upright row drop set and then we finish off with two exercises for triceps 
Day nine is then legs again, only legs. And that's literally squats, squats with a four second negative, Romanian deadlift, leg extensions, and seated calf raise. So you guys get the whole, whole feel of it being a lot of compound movements for legs. So my leg days are extremely draining and it's really hard to get through, but we're, we're grinding and we're getting through that. So yeah, that's the whole nine day split. That is what my training is looking like for prep. And um, yeah, it's a progressive overload program. So week one, you start with a certain weight and only three sets. Then week two, you add more sets, you add more volume, you add more weight. And you do that until week four. So I'm currently on week four where most of the things are five sets each. Um, so I'm in the gym for quite some time and the weight is pretty heavy. So yeah, we're grafting. But I'm gonna have this massive bowl of salad. It's gonna take me like 15 minutes to eat and I'm gonna be pretty full after that. What's the time? It's currently 20 to four. So I'm doing cardio at 5 p.m. And then I still have three meals left after this one. So as you guys can see, I'm pretty backed up on my meals. And um, yeah, so I need to get this day rolling. I'm gonna hop into this meal and then I'll check you guys after cardio. Yo guys, cardio is finished, thank goodness. I got a dope one for you. Volume, volume, volume. You guys know that that's the name of the game. So check this shit. Ooh, whoa, I lost a potato. <laughs> Thumbnail pick. Ooh, all the macros on the screen with all the quantities. This is chicken breast, mushroom, zucchini, a little bit of chutney, light sauce, and potatoes. And um, yeah, that's how we're rocking this meal. So before I hop into this one, I quickly want to discuss how my mental prep has been on this prep. I hope my mic is on. Yeah, it's on, nice. Oh, everything is so organized right now. Okay, so basically just what I'm doing is I'm trying to be grateful for what I have while I'm on this prep. So I choose to eat the diet, I choose to do the training, I choose to do the cardio. So there's no use in me, you know, complaining about it, feeling bad about it, like, it's really, really tough, but I know that it's a delayed gratification with an instant sacrifice. So I know that what I'm working with, what I'm, what I'm doing now and all the pain, and all the effort and the hunger and the cardio that you don't want to do, I know that it's going to be all worth it in the end. So that's what I keep on focusing on uh, mentally. I try and keep my mind as calm as possible and um, I do a lot of reading and I listen to classical music. I really hope my friends aren't watching this. But I listen to classical music just to calm my mind, especially when I'm doing cardio. That just gets me into a good frame of mind. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I practice gratitude. So I'm grateful for the fact that I can diet. I can eat these foods. I'm grateful for the fact that I can go to cardio and all of that stuff. And um, I always think of the bigger picture and I always encourage myself. For example, the other morning, my alarm went off at 6 a.m. and I wasn't feeling cardio. Like, I was lying there and I was contemplating. I only need to do six days of cardio a week. I already do seven days. I can take one day off. What, what, what? And I was contemplating and then quarter past six hits and I was like, you know, you know what? Get up, go do your cardio and you know make it happen so i went showed up which is very important showing up i did the cardio and i got home and when i got home i turned off my car and i just thought to myself you know what you're a fucking champ well done and i was telling myself that I, <laughs> yeah i was telling myself that i'm a champ and that if i keep putting in the work and i keep on doing what i'm doing then I will end up achieving my goal. And that's what it's all about. So every time I have to do something that I don't feel like doing, getting up early for cardio, doing the cardio, working out, lifting weights when my energy is low, eating diet food, being hungry, I know that it's all for a big, bigger goal in the end. And I know that if I just stick through 
um, I'll be extremely proud of myself at the end of the day. Whether you know I win the competition, I win the show or not, if, then, if there's no stone left unturned, then I've already won in my mind. So yeah, that's basically just how I go through this mentally. I'm still kind of in the honeymoon phase. I'm only at eight weeks out. So um, the diet and the training and all of that isn't crazy yet. Like the training obviously is hard, but I'm not on a crazy restrictive calorie diet yet. So the energy levels are still good. Um, and yeah, the real grind is still to come. And this is my first rodeo, so we'll see how I handle it and what happens. But I really focus on my mental preparation because I know that the sport is more mental than physical. And um, yeah, forming good habits is another thing that I do. Um, early morning cardio, setting myself up for the day, just getting into a routine really helps, locks you in. You know what to do, you don't have to think about what you have to do. So. Mentally, that's where I'm at. I'm really, really feeling amazing at this point. My body is responding exactly how we want. My coach is extremely happy with how everything is going. And um, yeah, I'm just super, super excited to showcase what I've been working for. Um, as you all know, I've been bulking and not competing just for the pure fact that I am such a tall person. I need to fill out my frame. So I was using my time to rather put on muscle rather than spending it in a deficit, prepping for a show um, and not putting on that muscle. So I've really put on a, a decent amount of muscle and I'm just so excited to reveal what it looks like in, at the end of the day. So yeah, we are eight weeks out, another eight weeks and it's actually seven weeks and six days and then I get to do that. So at this point, I'm just very, very excited and yeah, Mentally, I am rock solid and that's it. That's it for my men mental mental side of things, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the long rant. Um, I just I'm keep on looking at this food. It looks so lit. So I'm going to dive into this one and then I'll show you guys meal number five, which is kind of more like a snack, high volume, as always. Check you guys soon. Oh, and we are rolling in hey, for meal number five. So this is my favorite meal of the day. So excited. Shit. We got a chicken mayo pizza for me from uh, Panarotti's with tiramisu. Yeah. That's what I'm having. I'm just joking. That's what she's having. <laughs> my meal is um, a bowl of popcorn. Right over here, and then, yo, this light is bright. Okay, so my meal is five rice crackers looking like this. It has PB2 on it and 80 grams of um, banana, and we got a bowl of popcorn, rocking and rolling. And then, the plan right now, oh no, oh, is to watch this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie. If you've ever watched She's Out of My League, it's super, super dope. So that's the plan. We're going to watch She's Out of My League. It's going to be like the 20th time I've watched that movie. It is currently quarter to eight. So this is my second last meal of the day. And yeah, the last one is a proper proper meal again with some proper protein, proper everything. Just nutrition on another level. So yeah, I'm going to watch my girlfriend eat tiramisu and chicken mayo pizza. I'm going to have some PB2 rice cakes with banana and popcorn. And we're going to watch a movie. I'll catch you guys at the next milazo. Alrighty guys, so we've made it to the final meal of the evening, of the evening of the day. Um, it's once again a massive bowl. We got minced potatoes, baby marrow, mushrooms and a tomato chutney sauce. All the macros are listed on the screen and um, yeah, it's already half past 10 at night so I'm pretty tired and the meals were pretty late today so I'm going to finish this one up. If you guys made it this far, 
Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate the support. And yeah, we'll see you at the next episode of this prep series. Peace out.